Okay, so um, we've been playing around with ChatGPT like everybody else, um, and we've now decided to hook it up to our virtual mocap mo character. So um, I'm going to do a quick example of how this works, and then run through a quickly how we set this up. But it's pretty simple to do. So um, first of all, let's ask ChatGPT something. Um, hello. Hello. How can I assist you today? Could you explain to me in 10 seconds what a VTuber is? Virtual content creator using animated avatar and interactive audience engagement. Thank you. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. I'm here to help. Can you tell me a joke? Sure. Here's a classic one for you. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. So the way we set this up is using the Oculus SDK. So I'm not going to go through and explain how we did that only because um, I did it a while ago and I can't remember. So basically, the, um, we used the plugin, but I don't think it's updated to work with the latest version of Unreal. So there was a bit of um, adjustment that we needed to make to the code. Um, but I managed to figure out, and I'm really new to the Unreal Engine, or I was when I started. So if I could do it, I'm pretty sure um, anybody else out there with Unreal experience will know what to do straight away. But it's a case of... Um, Using that Oculus SDK lip, lip sync, um, and that creates the um, microphone to audio lip sync. So the next thing we did was to go to the Chrome Web Store and download this Talk to Chat GPT um, extension, and basically that just add, uh, adds on the utility so that it converts the text into speech um, using the uh, the computer's stereo mixer um, we're picking up the audio from the desktop and running that through the mic system so we've got that set up as our default mic so in Unreal um, that's picking up the audio from the desktop and that's running the automated lip sync and the Oculus SDK does a really good job at um, doing the um, uh, the lip sync shapes and matching it up to the sounds so Overall, it's a pretty simple process of just hooking up that chat, uh, chat GPT uh, to the character in Unreal. Um, that can be done with an Alexa device, um, basically anything. So we could even um, get it to uh, use audio from like a YouTube video or something like that. So let's uh, simulate this. So it's picking up the microphone from the desktop and then if we press a quick video. test of a new character that we're working on. This is using our trigger-based system. As you can see, this character is being controlled with the Xbox controller. And we can add on body gestures. So yeah, that's it. It's just a quick video um, showing how we've hooked up ChatGPT to one of our characters. And we can do this to any of our characters. Um, the only thing you got to do is make sure that the character has the right name, uh, blend shapes uh, for the mouth shapes, um, and that's it. Um, any questions? Put them in the comments. We're always happy to um, always happy to help out. Or follow the link in the description um, to our Discord channel, where again, always happy to answer questions um, about anything character and virtual character related. <laughs> I'm gone, I've been far away, I'm a new moon in it now, I'll make a moon, start of waves, I've been dreaming about flying for a long time, I had a vision from the first day, want a cold sign, I'm officially a dead end in a way, I, I'm your future past and present, I'm a fine line, yeah, I'm a missing link of this illusion, I am not really here, I'm an intrusion, I don't swim or sink, I just float, I don't need gravity, I just need growth. When I move, it's an earthquake rumble I will never ever fall, never stumble And I don't need to be humble Break down walls like 
Jericho Crumb.